हेलो एवरीबडी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्ते यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन टूडे अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू योर प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑन वॉलीबॉल एंड आर टूडे टॉपिक इज फर्स्ट रेफरी वी हैव टू नो अबाउट इट इन डिटेल actually without first referee we are not able to complete the match if you want that a match should complete smoothly then first referee should be there so i am going to explain about first referee with the help of introduction actually first referee is the official that stands on the referee stand positions at on the either side of the court for example this is your volleyball court so first referee chair might be this side or this side so if we can say the first referee is the official first referee is the official that stands that stands on the referee on the referee chair positions at position at either side of the court this side or this side of the court he can stand it is the first referee that starts the match by whistling or we can say as he is the in charge of whole of the game so that he starts play by whistling or he is the in charge of the game so we can say it is the first referee who starts play by whistling it is the first referee that first referee that start play by whistling
विदाउट विशल मैच कैन नॉट बी स्टार्टिंग एक्चुअली ही इज ओल इन ओल ड्यूरिंग द मैच सो हिज डिसीजन विल बी लॉस्ट एस ही इज ओल इन ओल ड्यूरिंग द मैच सो his decision is lost nobody can defy first referee's decision so for the match to be completed it is very important to have first referee without him match can not be done so this is the small introduction of first referee now we will talk about first referee's responsibilities what are the responsibilities of first referee before the game first of all we will talk the responsibilities of the first referee before the game before the game before the game first referee has to report before time he will report half an hour ago to the ground report report before time he will report it means he will report half an hour to the ground so he should reach to the ground before time next what he will do check all the equipments check all the after reach to the ground it's his duty to check all the equipments and marking of the ground marking should be up to the mark so it's his duty to check equipments all the equipments should be in good condition and marking should be up to the mark it should be properly visible number 3 he has to check the height of the net height 
height of the net. According to male and female, if there will be match of man or male, then its height will be 2.43 meter and if match will be of woman, then its height will be 2.24 meter. So its first referee's duty is to check the height of the net according to the match. Check both of the antennas. Both of the antennas are set in the volleyball net or not. It is the duty of first referee. Both of the antennas should be up to the mark. Their height should be proper. After that, call both of the teams to conduct the toes. Conduct toes. First referee will conduct toes in presence of both of the captains. This is the duty of first referee before the match. And at last, make aware regarding any change if there is any change in rules and regulations then this is the duty of first referee to make them aware make players aware regarding any change in the rules and regulations. If there is any change or any implementation is there, then this is the duty of first referee to make them aware. Now, what are the duties during the game? During game. First referee, as you know, he is the in charge of the match, so he has to control the match. He is the controller. Whole of the match will be in his observation. He will control all the match. He will see each and everything regarding the match. Number second duty is during the match, fair decision. Very important. Fair decision.
he should be impartial. During the match, he has to give his decision fairly. Nobody should cheat during the match. If referee will be fair during the match, then players will be motivated. Next duty is sanction substitution. Sanction substitution. He will sanction substitutions and time out. If anybody wants to substitute during the game, then he has to take permission to the first referee and first referee has the right to give them substitution or time out. Next point is satisfy the player. Satisfied the player. If any request is made by the player, he will satisfy them. If there is any doubt during the match regarding points or any fouls, and player is requesting to the first referee, then it is the duty of first referee to satisfy their doubts. So this is the duty of first referee during the match. And number fifth and most important, he can deny the decision of second referee. He can deny to accept the Decision of second referee. There are two referees in the game of volleyball. First referee, who is the in charge of all of the games, and next is second referee, who is there to help the first referee. If Second referee give any decision and first referee think that his decision is not clear or not according, according to him, then he can deny to accept. So these are the duties of the first referee during the match. Now, after the game. What are the responsibilities or duties of the first referee after the game? First referee check all the things again. Means check all the equipments again as he checked before the 
match. So after the game, first of all, what he has to do, he has check. check all the equipments again for the next match if there is any problem then he will tell it to official table if there is, if there is any problem regarding ground or regarding any equipments then he has to report to the official table number two mentioned penalty mentioned penalty what it means all penalties given by him during the match he mentioned on the score sheet during the match whatever penalties he has given to the players or coach he will mention it on the score sheet All penalties given by first referee will be mentioned on the Score sheet. On the score sheet. Put his signature on the score sheet. Next. Before leave the ground, he has to put his signature on the score sheet. And at last, he will thanks to all. So these are the duties of the first referee. And conclusion is what? Conclusion is what? For the match, for the match, so for the match, To be completed, to be completed, it is very important to have first referee. It is very important to have first referee so conclusion conclusion is what all of these it is 
वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव फर्स्ट रेफरी विदाउट हिम मैच कैन नॉट बी डन प्रॉपरली सो आर टूडे टॉपिक ऑन फर्स्ट रेफरी इज कंप्लीटेड अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इट इन ब्रीफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू गिव इंट्रोडक्शन आफ्टर दैट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज बिफोर द मैच वट आर द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ही हैज टू रिपोर्ट ऑफ एंड और बिफोर टू दी ग्राउंड चेक ऑल द इक्विपमेंट्स चेक हाइट ऑफ द नेट एज वेल एज एंटीनास कंडक्ट टोस मेक players aware regarding any change in the rules and regulations then duties during the game control the match give fair decision sanction substitution as well as time outs satisfy the player if there is any doubt or any queries and he can deny to accept the decision of second referee if he is not satisfied with the decision of second referee then he has right to change his decision next after the game again he has to check all the equipments for the next match mentioned penalties whatever per penalty is given by him during the match he has to mention all these on the score sheet put his signature on the score sheet before leaving the ground it's his duty to put his signature on score sheet and at last he has to thank to all and conclusion so for the match to be completed it is very important to have first referee without because without him match cannot be done properly so our today's topic on first referee is finished in our next topic we will talk about second referee what is the importance of second referee in the game of volleyball so for today thank you have a nice day